From above, Wonderland could be a stretch of Dutch farmland from the 19th century. Horse-drawn carriages move up and down a straight muddy track. Driveways branch off into farmyards with houses and barns all neatly spaced out. But look a little closer and you can see the fringes of tropical rainforest on the periphery. This is farmland that is being carved out of a remote corner of the Peruvian Amazon. Its inhabitants, around 100 families, came here to farm around five years ago. Abram Thiessen arrived with his wife and six children from an established community in Bolivia. We've come here for good. We're not thinking of moving because we're already established here with our families and with all the money we've invested that we brought from Bolivia. Our hope is that we can be allowed to work peacefully, that they let us create development, because where are we going to get enough to eat if they don't let us work the land? Thiessen and his Wonderland community are among the most traditional Mennonites. The Anabaptist Christian group fled persecution in Europe to settle all over the world, from India to Canada to South America. Founded around 500 years ago, the followers have maintained their Dutch and German ancestry to this day. They continue to speak Plaut Deutsch, or Low German, a language which has otherwise fallen out of use. They choose to live without electricity and most aspects of modern technology, a simple life rooted sometime in Europe's past. But this community of Mennonites has also chosen to live in the Peruvian Amazon, and that has brought with it a whole series of modern-day problems. Their way of life means they live far from society. CGTN travelled 14 hours by boat from the nearest city and another hour along a muddy track to visit them. In choosing such a remote place to live, they have now been accused of deforesting the Amazon. Environmentalists say satellite data shows that Wonderland and its two neighbouring colonies are a leading cause of large-scale deforestation in Peru. They have cut down forest covering more than 3,000 hectares or 30 square kilometres, says local environmental prosecutor Jose Luis Guzman. Mennonite communities are deforesting for agricultural work but without any kind of permit in order to carry out deforestation there to remove the vegetation cover of trees and forests you need a permit from the state and in this case they have not had any permit after the deforestation they have tried to settle the situation but they can't I can't deforest and then ask for a permit it doesn't work like that but Deason and other community leaders say they have the land titles to farm they say they traded a 500 hectare plot they held near the regional capital for the larger, more inaccessible land where they now live. They say the timber merchants who sold them the land had already logged the valuable hardwood trees. It was secondary forest because the logger had already used all the wood. So we bought the land because we don't work with timber. We prefer the soil to work the land. We bought from him because he'd used the wood. As there was some smaller timber left over, we made houses, schools, churches, bridges and some little things. Legally, it's an important distinction because secondary forest can be turned into farmland, but not primary rainforest. The legal case continues, not least because Peru lost a record 2,000 square kilometres of forest in 2020, almost four times higher than the 2019 total. The Mennonites might be easy targets, but their dairy products and farming know-how is helping to drive growth in the nearest town of Tierra Blanca, says local leader Medelu Saldana. We are blessed to be able to learn from this orderly agriculture that brings a total benefit to our population. The Mennonite colony has come to invigorate the economy of our district, where the state neither makes an appearance nor invests. The Mennonite colony has changed the face of a village. The legal wrangling has created uncertainty for the community whose way of life has changed little in more than a century. But environmentalists fear even more Amazon rainforest could be lost with the arrival of more Mennonites in search of land to farm. Dan Collins, CGTN, 
in Wonderland, Peru.